Hey guys, it's John here. Happy New Year to you all. Now, I've been getting a few people asking me this. John, why do you like Thomas and Friends? Well, to start off the new year and having reached over 200 subscribers, thanks to all of you, I shall be discussing why I love Thomas Friends, or Thomas Tanky if you prefer. This goes out to TS Nintendo Gamer for the suggestion, and a great one at that, so shout out to ya. Now when it comes to many shows I enjoy, I love them for two main reasons. One, being story-based, meaning I enjoy it for the plotline, and two, to be entertained by it, which is subjective in this case. There's a lot more to it than that for me, considering it's a show that was based on a series of books by the Reverend Audrey called The Railway Series. The stories had the characters go through development over time, it had some dark moments, it focused primarily on being most realistic, only with personified trains, as well as most rolling stock and non-rail vehicles, along with a fictional island. Many of these stories were adapted to the TV series we know as Toss Friends from Series 1 through 4. There were some original ideas here and there, as well as stories based on magazine stories by Andrew Brenner. The original ideas became more frequent since Series 5 onwards, and that season, along with the fourth, are my favorites of the classic era, aka Series 1 through 7. Now, Series 5 has many dark storylines, which is why I enjoy it. It was cool to have some extreme moments in that season, with some stories taking place at night, having some spooky moments as well. Now, some have been saying Thomas Friends was a base show. Well, if you watch the majority of season 5, I'm pretty sure you'd think otherwise. Some have even said that it's too scary for children, particularly the mall era. Well, that was due to budget reasons, and a lot of British children's shows didn't have moving mouths back then. Besides, I enjoyed the mall work today on the show. Even I wasn't scared of the mouths on the trains being stacked. I was only scared of two episodes from that series as a kid. Buzz Buzz, mainly the scene of the bee stinging James's nose, and Percy James in the fruitful day, the squash fruit squirting all over Percy. Maybe it was because of the facial expression he made. As much as I loved the mall era, I also enjoyed the CGI era as well, particularly Series 17 onwards. I remember enjoying it when it first came out. Mark Moraham was the new narrator in both English dubs. I was 15 and a half. And I enjoyed many things about that season, such as the stories and the returning characters. Another thing I love about Thomas and Friends is its characters. I can relate to many of their personalities, like how I wanted to see the world like Thomas did, for example. I love the narration too, mainly the UK dub. Being a British show and all, I love when they switch to using individual voice actors for characters in the series as well. The voices, a lot of the time, are really good in my opinion. I enjoy imitating a lot of them as well. Also, yes, I do collect the toys based on the series. As you noticed in my videos, I've also customized them to my liking and to separate them from other kids' collections. However, I don't collect all the characters from all the toy brands. Now, many of the things I said about the show are similar to what other adult Thomas and Friends fans have said when it comes to liking the show, but I mainly use those points because I agree with them, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. In conclusion, I love Thomas and Friends. It was a big part of my childhood, so naturally, I would enjoy it a lot. It's my all-time favorite kids show, one I'd recommend to many parents to show their kids. So those are many of the reasons why I love Thomas and Friends. I hope that cleared everything up for you. So anyway, this is John Takul in 1001, signing out. Hope to see you in the next video, and Happy New Year, and take care, everyone.